Hey everyone. In this video, I want to talk to you about why you should never sacrifice your dreams for a relationship. Now, I've seen this happen a few times in my life where people put a relationship before their own goals and dreams and they pretty much end up sacrificing the very thing that they were driving most of their meaning from. And I don't think this is the right thing to do. I truly believe that when you meet someone who is going to be an incredible partner for you, they're not going to be someone where you're, who's going to make you choose between them and your dreams. They're going to support you in pursuing your dreams. They're not going to hinder you from it or try to hold you back out of maybe some fear or jealousy even. They're going to help you become better and they're going to want to see you succeed and grow. It's only toxic and unhealthy people who are going to want to hold you back and not see you rise above them and not allow you to pursue your dreams. So please don't fall victim to that. You should never have to sacrifice your dreams in order to make a relationship work. And if you find yourself in that scenario, I truly believe you should give it a lot of thought and really think about the partner you're with and whether or not they truly are the best possible person for you. Because they might not be. There may be someone better out there. Now, there will be some cases where logistics could come into play, where maybe your partner gets a job, their dream job, and it requires them to move. And you don't want to move because you're pursuing your dream and the area you're in is allowing you to do that. And in those cases, that's probably one of the few scenarios where I say it's a lot more complicated than this video would lead on. And in those cases, I would say just follow your heart because that's going to be a tough decision either way. Because that's, that's something where you may be able to try a long distance relationship or something like that because both of you are going to want to be able to pursue your dreams. And the relationship shouldn't become a barrier to that. I mean, when you get down to it, pursuing your dreams is probably going to be the thing that's going to give you nearly all of your meaning in life. It's going to be a huge source of happiness for you and fulfillment in life. So if you have to give that up for someone else in order to make a relationship work, you're going to be sacrificing a lot of happiness and I can guarantee you the relationship is not going to be make up, it's not going to be able to make up for that loss. It really won't. And then you'll probably end up even getting a bit bitter or kind of you'll drive or you'll get some resentment towards your partner because deep down you'll kind of know that they came between you and your dreams and you don't want that. That's unfair to them and it's unfair to you. So if you find yourself in that situation where you have to pick between your dreams and a person, as much as it hurts, I truly believe nine out of 10 times you should choose pursuing your dreams and let the person go because life's just too short. You're gonna meet plenty of other people and you may even meet someone who's better than that person. But if that person is actually making you literally choose between them and your dreams, then they are pretty much toxic. can guarantee that person is unhealthy because they're holding you back and they're doing it consciously. But in the cases where it's a bit more nuanced and the person truly wants what's best for you, and like I said, logistics get in the way, that's a tough decision and I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. And you really should just follow your heart in those scenarios. But in any other case, choose your dreams. That's going to give you way more happiness and fulfillment and life satisfaction than the relationship will. And I can guarantee you're going to find other people, you're going to have other relationships. So if someone's forcing you to choose between them and basically your life purpose, then you should probably walk away from that person. Anyway. I hope this video helped you, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Arrivederci.